video before I run and get the mod. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. So if you want to check anything out, just go to the description. I got all my links there. Um, this is a problem from the Explore page for trees. I'd say definitely check out the Explore page on Lead Code if you haven't. Uh, if you want to learn basics to algorithms and data structures, and one of the problems I've come across is path sum. That's what it's called, and it says, given a binary tree and a sum, determine if a tree has a root to leaf path such that adding up all the values along the path equals a given sum, right? So if we're given the sum is 22, we're basically given a sum, and we want to look if there's a path from the root to a leaf, leaf meaning one of the bottom nodes, root meaning the first node, uh, where all the values on this path add up to 22. So we see 5 plus 4 plus 11 plus 2, 22. Uh, not too difficult. When I, when I first saw this, I was like, okay, well, I know how... Okay, here's the thing. This would be a hard problem if we had to keep track of the values. It would be a little bit harder than um, just... It's just a Boolean. So we just have to know if there is one. So all you have to do is traverse the tree and kind of have a sum and keep track of the sum. And the whole process is we'll have the sum start at whatever it is. So if it's 22, it'll start at 22. And as we traverse, we'll just decrement the sum. And that's pretty much the idea behind this problem. So let's write it. Uh, just like all the other tree problems, we're going to do a if root equals null return false. Always want to do that if root equals null check at the beginning. You're going to want to just break out pretty much. That's all of them. Uh, and the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to have two stacks. So this stack is going to be a tree node stack called node stack. And this is also another similar thing to all the other tree problems. Usually you have a stack or a queue or some kind of data structure that holds your nodes and you start at the root and you put a root, you put nodes into the stack one by one and at each iteration you put the children nodes into the stack and you pop nodes off the stack and do operations on them. So we're going to have a node stack where we traverse the tree and then we're going to have a stack of integers called sum stack. And this is just going to keep track of our sums, um, which will help us in the future. So first thing we're going to want to do, like I said, is add root to the node stack. We're also going to want to add the sum minus the root dot value to the sum stack for the initial sum uh, decrement. Uh, we're going to decrement the sum initially. The root is going to have to be decremented automatically because that's automatically part of the path, right? So. Uh, sum minus root dot val. There we go. So that's the that's us initializing our stacks. Then just like all the other problems, just pretty much a standard problem right here. Um, while node stack is not empty, this is how we do it in the other problems where we just have a stack. You put nodes into the stack and you pop them off to an operation. So it's not empty because it has the root right here. Right. Um, then we're gonna grab the current node. Still similar to the other ones. Current node is going to be equal to node stack dot pop. So we'll pop a node off the stack, which will be root at first, and then we'll have the uh, int current sum is equal to sum stack dot pop, and then we pop the sum off the sum stack. So now that we have these, this is the only part where we really have to do some thinking now. Um, so let's get our final case first. If node dot left is equal to null and node dot right is equal to null and not node sorry we're talking about current node here if current node dot left and current node dot right are both equal to null then that means we've hit a we hit a leaf that's the case where you hit a leaf if there's no more left or and and we're doing and here so if the left and right are missing that would mean if we get to seven there's no left and right they're both missing um, so then we're gonna also we know that we're at a leaf and if we're at a leaf that means we've traversed a whole path of the tree so we could have gone here could have gone this way could have gone this way, we could have, you know, any way we can get to a leaf, that's when we're at a leaf. Now, what we all we have to do now is check if the current sum is equal to zero. Well, that means that we did. We traversed it, we got to a leaf, and we as we decrement the sum, if the sum gets to zero, that means, yes, it worked perfectly. And we did find a path that um, got us to where we needed to be. Um, and now here's the other part. All you have to do is if node.left is not equal to null, then we're going to do uh, node stack dot add node dot left. Um, and I keep saying node, but it's actually current node. Sorry if I'm confusing you guys here because uh, we popped that current node. I'm just used to writing node all the time. And uh, then all we have to do after that is current, nope, sum stack, stack dot add. It's a really repetitive and simple looking thing. Sum stack dot add um, current, current sum minus um, node, current node, 
sorry, dot left dot val. And then this is going to be the same thing for the right side. Hopefully I got this first try. I might have some syntax errors here. Um, yeah, just change these to right. And I'll explain it in a second. And that looks good. And then, yeah, that looks it. And then all we have to do is return false if we got to the end here. And we don't hit this condition. No, no, no. Return true if we hit this condition because that means we did find a path. Return false if we never hit that condition. It's a little messy of an explanation for you guys, but maybe I'll explain it one more time in a second. Line 18 error identifier expected. 18 sum minus root dot val. Oh, dot add. Oh my gosh. Sorry about this, guys. True, true, accepted. Hopefully this is accepted. And then I'll explain it one more time, right? So the idea is we traverse the tree. We want to find a path of node values that add up to a sum. So we have a sum stack to keep track of our sum. And we'll have it, if it's, if it's a 22 at the beginning, as we go down the path, we see a 5. We'll do 22 minus 5, and then it'll be... What's 22 minus 5? 17, and then we see 4, and then it's 13, and then we keep going and decrementing the sum. And if we ever see a perfect 0, that means we found a path. If we're at a leaf and we see a perfect 0, we've found a path. If it's negative 1, if the current sum is negative 1 or negative 5, that means that the path, you know, maybe the last leaf was too high of a value, or, you know, if it's higher than 0, then it would be too low of a value, so... Uh, this is the condition we want to see, and all we have to do is each iteration we're adding the left and right children to the stack, keep traversing this while the stack's not empty, we just keep going around in a circle, and we keep adding the sums uh, to the sum stack, popping them off, and going down all the paths. Hopefully you guys kind of get that. I don't know if I did a good job of explaining it. I try to do as best I can, so um, I'm a little sick today, but let me know in the comments if bad explanation, good explanation. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Check out other problems. I'm going to keep going here. So thank you and subscribe. See ya.